If you really want to know how small New Zealand and the Pacific nations really are, take a look into some of the family history of rugby players. Because I tell you what, today, I didn't even know this, but we're going after Quade Cooper's cousin. Yeah, work that one out by the thumbnail. What is going on, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back along to your home of rugby, where, yes, uh, we're in England. Take on Saracens, going after Quade Cooper's cousin, who is Sean Maitland. I mean, now I think about it, I can kind of see the resemblance. But alas, today, Maitland is on the list. And a real OG of the Super Rugby rejects. He was rejected by Super Rugby before it was cool for everyone else to do it. So he's got to be one that's in the squad for that and that alone. Now, of course, Sean Maitland started off his career in through the NPC, coming up through the Canterbury system and making his way into, of course, the Crusaders where he was a very, very integral part of that team for a good five years, appearing over 50 times, scoring a stack of tries, and becoming a real threat for New Zealand rugby to get into the All Blacks. Now, of course, he did not make that league big play for the Māori All Blacks a couple of times, but ultimately did not make the leap up from there. Of course, it was around 2012, I know, over 12 years ago that he made the leap over to play for Glasgow where he first started things off. He played about four seasons for the Glasgow Warriors and of course with that became eligible for Scotland which he appeared for over 50 times as well. Since then now he moved on to London Irish where he spent a couple of seasons and ultimately in 2016 made his way off to the Saracens where he still remains today nearing those 100 caps as well. What a player, what a servant, what a man, what a career. Starting off, of course, way back in 2006, he started with Canterbury in the NPC. And now here we are, 2024, and he's a mighty 35 years old. Of course, we've got a new man in our team as well, and I'd be amiss to go past the opportunity to go with Santiago and Mateo at 10 and 11, or next to each other pretty much brothers in arms give themselves a high five they're buddies we've made a few other changes as well Gibson Park's been trashed we've gone back to whole guard which makes me think next episode I'm going to go for another number nine that I want to grab as well we've mixed up the back row Lozana's in for a start and of course uh, even though he got a yellow card last game we've gifted him the start we moved Ardron in to the second row as well the rest of the back line is unchanged. Our key is back from injury. Fikitoa's good. So is Lowe moving to the right wing to allow Kadiris to come back in right next to his big buddy brother. And of course, Rex Hodge at the back. Bench has had a little bit of a shake up as well. We see Montaiwani go to 23, volleyball to 22. Gibson Park moves down there as does uh, Luatua and Taufua. Uh, but the front row replacements all remaining the same at 16 to 18. For Saracens, though, no one we're really interested there at all. We've got a lot of links back to New Zealand and stuff there, with the Vinnie Pullers and players like that. But ultimately, you know, there's only one man we're going for today, and that is going to be the great man, Sean Maitland. Right, last episode was a bit of a struggle, so let's not do that again today, please, team. If we could, we're playing in the yellow. We're back to our usual kits, because Saracens play in black. All red. And there's a bumper crowd. I'm just looking at the crowd for this game. Look at it. It is packed. Twickenham stacked to the rafters as we get things underway. And some more Super Rugby rejects action. And straight away, George has got a big break through the middle. Dummying like he's in a, a, a shop selling toys. Lots of dummies, right? Unbelievable. Moving through. Now, front rows getting Release. the ball. Looking for a charge on through as well. Left side they go, Peterl! Don't let him do this! Turnover, Tommy Afuda. Here's Mateo Kalinas, beating one. Looking this side, running Bundyaki! Who's left over? It's Santiago! Kalinas! Down the wing! Damien try! Santiago scores! Mateo! Then almost assist, linked up in the middle by Bundyaki. Try on debut. What a start for his rejects career. Big turnover from Big Ben. Mateo did the business there, created the opportunity, beat a couple of defenders, and then the pace. Woo! The pace was just enough to get away from Ella Davis, who was scooting across with a lot of interest in making a tackle. But a great start here for the rejects. 
compared to last match, I didn't like that at all when we struggled to score points. And we can't really blame Gibson Park because I don't think Holgaard's touched the ball yet. Here is Reese Hodge. Out on the left-hand side. He don't miss many Hodgie. He don't miss any Hodgie at all. Great kick. Seven points to nil. Reject up and in control. Owen Farrell, who we've hardly even talked about. Gets the game back underway. Seven points in seven minutes. Uh oh opportunity comes to the left side. The right side, I'd say. And Victo has a cut back to his left. Here is Hogarth. Nice ball away to Ardron. Now can he find some bottom low? Oh, not good enough. Really poor. And James Lowe wobbles his way into touch. He was too fast for Ardron. He overran him. Just about fell away at the end. Throw for George. Oh, stolen. Ardron gets his own back. And now Canetis. This is why we want him. He's so dangerous. At first receiver. Hopefully no cards. Look at all this though. Acres of space. Lozano throws it on. Arkey away to Mateo. And Mateo Canetis will go into the corner and be taken into touch. Great defense at the back. No way pass. Alex Good. But the midfield. It's becoming a disaster here for Saracens. They're getting no, uh, no ball through it. They're getting chopped up in attack. As they get the kick away eventually. Feel it back there from Reese Hodge. The charge into contact a bit. Goes away to Samu. Quick ball right inside here. Canales, Grayling Cup, James Lowe. One more to beat. He's got the inside ball in for Katoa. He could go 40 metres away. No chance for Davis to get him. And another try for the Rejects who are cantering home right now. Well, that's how we roll. Numbers. Manipulation. Keeping people on their toes. Looking to make those big breaks on the outside. What a ball from Lowe finding Fikasawa. And it's not been many tries for Malachi. But that one will go down. It's a great team try as well. I mean, like I say, we're family, man. This team is family. Everyone's related in some way or another, just about. Except for Reese Hodge, who's all alone. But he is an absolute key cog. Didn't think Hodgie would be so important in this team. But there you go. He really is. Kick is good. 14 points to nil. Saracens offering... Very little to nothing so far, 20 minutes in. We're off to a good start. Life of feature, of course, making that move to the back row. We've not seen much of him, but he's got the ball now, which is a good opportunity to display his wares. Here's Holgaard. Ooh, a little dummy there from Holgaard. Ah, throws in, set ball in the midfield. Not great from Samu. Release. A big chance for Saracens to Knocks some points on the board. George, left side, looking to get away. Maynard gives it off to the break of Farrell. Oh, great pick up there. And they've regained it in the front row. Release. All the big lads getting involved there. Pick and go. Wide from Davis. All out to the right wing. Great opportunity to score this one here. Quick ball. Stepping inside. No way through there from Willis. Davis. Keeps it tight. Now over the line to Daly. Oh, more people. No chance. Get out of here. Reese Hodge. Oh, I love him. Davis is not backwards. Swimming from the tackle. Try. Well, it was going to happen. Juan Martin Gonzalez. I think it is. Surely, yes. Twirling through contact. But I'm just glad that we stopped Elliot Daly right here. Bang. Oh, get on your ass, son. He got put down in a heat. Davis went to the left, cut back to Gonzalez, who slipped through the tackles of Tommy Funa and Arki. And eventually, in the end, there, Pit Samu was the last one. Great work from Saracens, close to the line. I was trying to look out for Sean Maitland, but couldn't really see him get involved. One opportunity he's had, really, he linked up for that kick for Farrell. That got them in a good spot. But we know his ability to finish. Oh, Farrell adds another two. It's 14 points to seven. 
I wouldn't call it game on just yet, but they're certainly on the board now. Confidence will start to flow through the mind. Where are you going? Who are you? Bundy? Well, go, go get it, Bundy, then, all right? You want to be offside, Bundy? Go get the ball, Bundy. He's not going to get the ball. Great tackle from Pierce. Here's Lozada. Oh, it's outstanding. The stem can't get away. Great tackle. Good at the back. Hogarth on it. Looks left side. Tyler Arch. Oh, no. How good. What a finish. Looks like a Ponka. Tyler Arch on gets the try. And really, that was all created from Mateo Canetis, who is something else on the wing. When it comes to big games, he's going to be involved. Great tackle. He was almost on his hands and knees there to try and get across. Was good. But quick ball out to Hogard, who identifies space incredibly well. Watch Tyler Ardron, who's making a good fist of his chance here back in the starting lineup. I tell you what, for a player who's not really in the mix as far as star power goes, he's playing an incredible role. 19 points to 7. Maitland's been shut down, so big credit goes to what? Our right wing. It's a good game so far from James Lowe out there. See very little from Sean Maitland. Yes, Farrell getting us back on the way. A little short one. Nicely taken from Kavita. Here is Haki doing what he does best. Look at him go! Bundy charging up the middle of the park, literally as close as he can get. Here's Kalini trying to replicate, can't do it. There's only one Bundy. Hogard, always a threat, sparking here is low. Looking up against Maitland, he gets away from him. Justin Lickertone steps aside, gone, and he's over the try. No one's stopping James Lowe. Don't worry about his boot. Look out for a step. Off the mark, incredibly fast. Then that plunging step off the right, leaving defenders in his wake. This was class. Got away from Maitland, just on acceleration alone. Maitland tried to come back, but Lowe went more central. Alan Davis was there, as he's been everywhere tonight. As the number nine. Good finish from Lowe. Got a game on our hands here with a big lead. For the rejects, we either go large or we don't go at all, do we? I mean, some players make a huge difference. Others make no difference whatsoever. 28 points to nil. It's half time. We're cruising, man. We are cruising with a capital K. Half time rings. 28 points to seven. Off we go. Smiles for the boys in yellow. Devastation for the boys in black and red. Down. By a big margin of 21 points, we're doing it easy with tries. Six line breaks to one. I tell you what, when we're good, we are incredibly good. Less tackles, more ball, more line breaks. I tell you, this is the last episode where we just we got we got nothing against Gloucester. Oh, we had less ball, we had less line breaks at half time. We were struggling. Today, it's made a big difference. Is it Kinnitus at 10? I doubt it. Maybe Kinnitus at 11, though. He has been incredible. Defensively, though, we've been very sound, very strong. Maybe the changes to the back row. We'll see. Hook up. Waiting for Cleavy. Try suit. Rumble's way through. We need more hookers too, don't we? Really? Oh, we've got a turnover. We've got a turnover here. Left side. Chance here. They go into midfield. Not it's fully soon. It's a penalty straight up. Nothing there for Nick Tompkins. Of course. Of course it's Tompkins. We will look for touch yet for the boot of Hodge. Oh my goodness me. Very unfortunate here for Saracens. Opportunity to score, taken away from them. Here's the line out throw to the front, it goes. Hogan, Canadis, Canadis. Oh, he's so agile. He's so elusive. But he's thrown a ball, poor pass there. Turnover. Back it comes. Now look at Saracen's cook up. Release. Trying to look and point out here. Where's Sean Maitland be as Willis has a great run. Now an opportunity down the left side wing. So back inside and they switch play. Now here, Daly, who's gone straight up the middle. Daly. Great defense on him. Shut down on a whisker. 
Reese Hodge is buried, so we've got support at the back. And the outside, Charles Hogarth will cover. Very well played from Francois Hogarth. Putting the pressure on, Davis. It's in that midfield. Good tackle there. Great turnover too. Tommy Funa does the job. And away goes Hogard. Out of his 22. Could be another turnover here. We've got an opportunity. Creepy. He's got to smoke this away, Creepy. That's a great kick. That is an incredible kick. Canadis is running across. Big power now. Intercepted Arke. Oh, we're turned. Defense into attack. An incredible moment as Big Ben Tommy Funa rumbles up the guts. Here's Creevy. He started all this kick. And he doesn't quite get a chance to finish it off. Who's next? Lazana. No. Denied. Great tackle. Tompkins doing something right this time. Here is Hogan. Yes, he's done it. That is what he adds. I feel like he needs support. Might be his last act. We'll give Gibson Park the rest of this game. We're coasting. But I tell you what, the spark of our boy, Francois Hogard. He is a wee sparking nugget. Look at him. We step. Woo! See you later, baby. Off he goes. Try time. Nothing Davis can do, but look on with awe. Let's call it that. Let's call it awe. Back to Reese Hodge. We're going to make some changes here. 20 minutes. I think this is plenty of time. Right, let's give everyone a run. We're cruising here. Ready comes on. Um, Kitschoff has done nothing. And I want Tommy Afuna to get injured. So on will come both of these guys. Let's be honest. They're both tight head props. I don't care. Who cares? We'll do gold noldies. Lua Tua. Second row, Lua Tua. Scouting needs a rest. He's done a lot of hard yards. Tafu will come on for Samu. So I believe Telfu really does like number eight better. It's sad to see it. Gibson Park can come on. Actually, no. Let's rest up the key players. Canetis has been incredible. Hoggard can go to the wing. Gibson Park can come on. Uh, Volavola. Look, Volavola. We know Reese Hodge is incredible. Volavola goes to fullback. Reese Hodge comes off. And Monte Ioani can come on for, you know, James Lowe. No one in midfield. We've got no subs for midfield. Disaster. Everyone's on. Brilliant. Love to see a full beach dump. 20 minutes they'll get. Oh, let's be honest. The starting 15 were incredible tonight. Star studded. Right, full changes. We need another hooker. We need another scrum half. We need more locks, actually. But I have two big name locks in mind. One of them South African. Three guesses who that will be. Scrum halves, two of them in mind, an Australian and a New Zealander. That's who's going to be coming in. Gibson Park, inadequate. Nicely done. Here is Oh, our foe has been wiped out. Goodness gracious. Crack a jack high shot. Bully Puller. You, you cheating man. Don't stare at us like that. You're losing, loser. Right, Walla Walla is at the wheel, which is a danger. What's going on there? No, he's not at the wheel. That was confusing. Walla Walla's at fullback. 21 has taken over. Here's Canetis. Great step from Canetis. Gibson Park has taken over the kicking. Oh my goodness me! Wide from Lazana to Arke! Look out! It's Hogan! He's got the wheels! You better believe it! Oh! What a finish! I was trying to think who was wearing 21. I was like, that's not a back. As in, a 10 out. Unbelievable that they're giving Gibson Park. Those duties. Over our boy Bola Bola. Great work, Bundyaki, a real creator though. A threat to the defense and a finish to once more. The boy, Francois Hogan. Doesn't matter where you put him. We can chuck him in midfield if we want. Right, so now Kinnanis is on the tee. 
I am confused what they've done with the goal kickers. Good to see Kanina, second best kicker in the squad. 42 to 7. Wow, this is a thumping. Kanina's doing the job. 42 7. Saracens fading without a trace. We're just toying with them right now. Man, when we're good, we are so good. When we're bad, we're we Gloucester. Deep run down. Adron. Aki. All the R's and a turnover from George. And a, oh, an opportunity. Tompkins straightening up. That was a really great play. It's going to be Daly. No. Daly denied. Anyone but Daly. Anyone. I tell you, anyone but Daly. That's a great carry. That's a great carry for the Tunners. He's got a double. Juan Martin Gonzalez. Really is unstoppable that close. Maybe we should get him in the team. My word. No, Elliot Daly, you're not having that. Tompkins did well. Switch back to Daly. What's this? One, two, three. Incredible. Ardron took him down. Way too late, though. Way too late. This is a try fest. The neutrals, I'll be loving this. Saracens fans, not so much. His old Farrell adds the extra two. Time is sticking on down. We see we're in the 70s. Seen very little from Sean Maitland. Well, it's just a bit of a concern, I'll be honest. Gibson Park. Gibson. Why did I get Gibson Park? There's a reason he's a super refugee. Advantage. He's oh, it's knocked on. Great work. What are we doing? We'll try going forward, lads. Our follower. Luatua. Yohane. Nice to Fikitoa. Look at what we do. Little chip over. Advantage over. That's not something he does. Oh, he's done brilliantly. Great try from Malachi. Fikitoa scores. And you want to talk about unstoppable. How about with the rejects? Play a little bit of sevens rugby. Really good stuff. Finding space in broken play. Vicatar regathers. He gets rid of Davis. He goes over the tackle of good. Malachi doing great work. Scored himself. Some good tries recently as well. He's clear this. Couple tonight, which will be very pleasing for him. Shot goes up. Right between the sticks. I mean, can we bring on some fans from the field? Because they're demolishing Saracens that badly. I kind of want 50. I kind of want 50. You know, there's sometimes in this game where everything clicks, and there's other times where nothing clicks at all. Here's Fikitoa. Wide for you, Arnett. Is he going to take the pace on? He is. He's missed time there completely. I would love a penalty. I would love it. An intercept is what I was going to go with. The bar for Fita says, no, we want a high shot. Shouldn't have kicked it out. 49-14. Saracens will want to play. Just give it to Gonzalez. Let's be honest, he's the only one that's done any damage. Got a room up middle of the park. Yeah, we got this, lads. Yeah, we got it. Hogarth's got it. Yuani. Jaeger's on. Ah, drop. Oh, wow. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Big lads have got some partying to do. We now have a drop goal from here. I kind of want to get a drop goal. I want to be a bit insulting. Luatua! Who's, who's in place? It's Bundy Aki. He's in place for a shocker. It's gone so wide. It's hardly made the try line. Oh, and it goes dead in goal. He was not the option we wanted. We, we've got Volleyballer there. We've got Carreras there. And we went to Bundy. Full time rings. We gave it a stab. But we get our man, Sean Maitland, who along with Saracens had an absolute disaster tonight. Francois Holgaard was extraordinary. And he's putting pressure on that number nine jumper. 
which next episode I feel like is ever going to be a scrum half or a hooker. One of those two. We've really got to step it up there. Saracens, 14 points. Gonzalez with true one. Tell you what, my team Gonzalez was incredible. Two tries tonight. Farrell converted them both. But take a look at the rejects. One try for Low, Ardron and Carreras, but two each for Hogard and Fikatoa. Ponchi got five conversions, Carreras got a couple, 49-14. Domination, man, absolutely destroyed them. When they had less tackles, they had more ball, and look at those line breaks. 12-3, to three. they'll never have a chance. We were just too hot, way too hot. So a number of options to take these wing spots now as we look through the side. I mean, it's going to be... We're going to be stacked. Come Super Rugby, I can't wait for it to start. We are going to be able to rotate. We're going to be able to rest our key players for big moments. I think we're finding out who really makes this team good. Reese Hodge for one. I think Mateo Canetta certainly makes us better as well. But let's get in Sean Maitland and see what sort of difference he makes to this team as well. Uh, Mates Land. What a player he is though. 83. Oh, he's actually quite good. 83 rated. We've got to give him his debut game. So next episode, he can come straight in for... Well, Mateo Canetis can take a seat now. He's played with his brother. That's all right. He's done enough. Off you go. Maitland to the left wing. Or do we swap these two over? James Lowe really does play as an 11. Uh, much, much more. But boy, we are stacked and ready to go. Next episode, look, this guy's a disaster. He's he's absolute trash, man. Um, I, I want to get another number nine. I've got two I want to get. I think I'll get the uh, lesser of the two next and then I also, I want to look for a hooker. So, Creevy is good enough right now. But I feel like we've got other options we need to take in. We need, we need, we need at least a couple of good hookers, right? We can't go with just one good hooker. And, of course, Hoggard, I wanted more as a versatile bench reserve, right? Someone I can bring in. I can slot him in at 12. I can slot him in at, on the wing at fullback. It wouldn't matter, right? I'm having to use him as a 9 because he's our best option. So, next episode, we go for a number 9. First up will be the Aussie. i got two I want to get. The Australian is first. Uh, so let's just see how that will go. And then we've got a couple of Australian hookers as well that I'm going to try and bring in to this team. So next episode, we go for the number nine. But first things first, let's have a look at the man we just brought in. If I can find him, here he is, Sean Maitland. He's not 31, he's 35. But he's still as fresh and sprightly as ever. Good pace. But I think what he brings to his game as well is he's quite a strong man uh, that keeps the ball alive in contact. Very good covering at fullback as well, which is good to see because we might need to bring him in there if uh, necessary as the season goes on. But all in all, good solid player. Scottish international. Love to see it. Love to bring him home. Sean Maitland is back in the rejects. That is it for me today, though, team. Thank you for tuning in. Watching. Hope you're enjoying this series as always. If you've got ideas of who you should bring in, let us know in the comment section. But as always, I'll see you all next time where we go after an Australian scrum half. Gibson Park, you're on the block. Take care.